So much to cover tonight and you've come to the right place. We are staying on top of the race to the White House along with other local races here in Tennessee. Our Scott Mattis is live at the Shelby County Election Commission tonight. And Scott, we know results are being tallied there. Uh, what can you tell us about at least Shelby County and the results coming in from there? Uh, well, what I can tell you is we've been actually moved to a different part of this facility, and that is because where we were before is, like I told you in my last live shot, is where those ballots and where those computers are coming in uh, through several different doors. Now, I can tell you we moved to what is traditionally the quote-unquote situation room or the media room where you have a screen directly behind us that is essentially giving us the tallies, the votes, etc. But right now you might notice that there are not any precincts reporting. Of course, 142 precincts in Shelby County have not reported yet. We're likely to see uh, numbers start to come in possibly by the 9 o'clock hour. And as I understand, the Shelby County election workers here, they can't even start actually counting those votes looking at those ballots, whether it be on paper or electronically, until the very last voter at any number one of those uh, precincts across the county have actually left and there's no confirmation right now. Linda Phillips has not come into this room to tell all of us that it is absolutely done, all the doors are locked and the workers are all coming back here. So we're still waiting, of course, on that confirmation. Now, as we were talking about before, uh, there have been very little hiccups in this election day uh, voting process. Mount Pisgah, of course, that is one of the voting uh, centers. They lost power for about 20 minutes or so, but it did not affect uh, the people there that were casting their votes because uh, those machines, those electronic machines, they operate on a completely different power source. Uh, so really no issues there. Of course, the weather, we've talked about this pretty much all night, that has likely uh, diminished some of the voting in many of the precincts because it was coming down uh, quite hard for about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on where you were or where you are in Shelby County. But once again, the bottom line to this big story, we, just like you, are waiting for those numbers to finally start coming down and hopefully we'll start to see those coming down in less than an hour. Of course, we'll stay on top of that for you. So please stay with us. Live in Northeast Memphis, I'm Scott Mattis. Scott, a question for you that um, maybe it might be worth a story tomorrow. I'm just curious. You know, both Davidson County and Shelby County are large counties with lots of people. Uh, according to the Associated Press, Davidson County's got 62% of its vote counted right now. Shelby County's a big fat zero. And I just don't understand why, with all these new voting machines and everything else we were told is going to make everything go smoother finally, we're still at 0% and it's 8 o'clock. Polls have been closed for an hour. Davidson's at um, 62, with 61%. Have they addressed that, the delay at all with you? Uh, right, and that's a valid point, and that's a great point, and that's something, of course, that we uh, not only should, but I'm sure will follow up on, because Davidson County, uh, Metropolitan Nashville, and I think this is a very important point, is on the same time zone as Memphis. We're all in the central time zone, so it might make more sense if we're talking about Knoxville or eastern Tennessee that, if my memory serves correct, is on eastern time. Uh, we're on the same time zone as them, so it is uh, confusing for a lot of people as to the process, as to the uh, time uh, that we are waiting to get those back. Uh, but, uh, no, Richard, that is a very valid point and a very good question, and I will search for those answers. I know you will, uh, and it is frustrating. You're right. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, very much.